Hey family, thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. Today we are going to make stuffed bell peppers. Here you will see all the ingredients that you will need. I got some mushrooms I'm adding in mine. I got some spaghetti sauce. I got some green peppers. Of course you need those. Some cheese of your choice. I got some red beans and rice mix that I found in my cabinet. An onion ground beef and I'm also adding some hot Italian sausages so this is just things that I had laying around in my cabinet use whatever you like I'm just showing you how to do it my way or how I do it so here you will see I got my sausage and my ground beef in the pan ready to fry up you also want to get on um, your water to uh, boil your rice your beans and rice and I'm just gonna show you me chopping up my hot Italian sausages and my ground beef you just want to chop it up nice and fine get it nice and crumbly Okay, so now my meat is getting to where I need it to be. It's nice and crumbled up. Everything is nice and thoroughly cooked. Now we can go on to the next step. Okay, so for my next step, y'all, um, I added in my uh, mini portobello mushrooms. And what I'm just going to do is um, take my spatula and just kind of dice them up about the same size that I uh, diced up my uh, meat. You don't want no nice, fine, crumbled ground beef and sausage with big old chunks of mushrooms. So I'm going to try to chop this down the best that I can and just start incorporating that into my ground beef and Italian sausages. And the ground beef, it wasn't really a lot, so it really didn't make that much grease at the bottom, or the Italian sausage really didn't make that much um, oil. So I just kept the oil at the bottom for flavor. I'm just gonna saute everything in the same pan, and it was just enough just to add enough flavor. So the next step is to add in your diced onion. So once you incorporate your diced onions, which you really don't have to cook all the way because it's going in the oven anyway, so 
you can uh, let it finish cooking in the oven. So after you finish incorporating your diced onions, now you want to move to the next step and that is take your cooked beans and rice. Throw that right on over in your ground beef and your sausage and your mushrooms and your onions. At this point, your kitchen is smelling lovely. Grab the spaghetti sauce of your choice. This is what I had in my cabinet. This is what I'm using. So you want to add on your, um, or add in, excuse me, your spaghetti sauce. And I wanted to give this, these peppers, I wanted to give it like a pop, a shebang, shebang, a oop, oop. So I decided to step out the box. That's what I always do with seasoning. And I decided to add some Jamaican jerk seasoning. When I tell you it made these peppers like do a one, two step, banging. So add in your Jamaican jerk seasoning as much as you would like. I also added about two splashes or two sprinkle splashes of sugar. Cause sugar just do something for sugar just do something to so to certain dishes sugar just do something for it I can't explain it it's just something about sugar that just make a dish pop I also want to go in with an all-purpose seasoning too so this is my go-to all-purpose seasoning the complete everything seasoning the sasson complete Sasson complete, complete, completo, bomb, bomb. So you just want to sprinkle a little bit of that on. And of course, what's the next step? Give it a nice, good stir. And as you'll see, I didn't want to add all of the sauce in at one time um i kind of just wanted to gradually add it um as i went because i really didn't want it too dry but then i didn't want it too saucy so you'll see me adding more and more you know as um the video moves along until i get it to like the consistency of my of my um choice so you know, some may like it drier, some may like it wetter. So, you know, you could add as much as you like. Yeah, so this is about right. This is just looking real, real good to me. This is looking perfect. This is just about where I wanted it. It's nice and saucy and not too dry, not too wet. So now what I'm going to do is this is done. Your filling is done. Put this to the side. Now let's start prepping those bell peppers getting getting those ready to um get stuff so i already washed and cleaned my um bell peppers and now i'm about to add them in some boiling water just to par boil them um and i like to cut my peppers like when i do like stuffed peppers i don't know i like to cut them um the long way some people cut the lid off and like stuff it that way but i kind of like to do it this way so now I'm getting ready to stuff my peppers and what I like to do first is just um, lay down just a sprinkle of cheese. I don't know, maybe because I just want cheese all through it. I just want cheese all through that thing. Like I want cheese at the bottom, the middle, the top. So I'm just going to sprinkle on some cheese before I add my filling. And here you will see me just stuffing it with that bomb filling. I mean, you got the mushrooms, the 
onions, you got the hot Italian sausage, you got the ground beef, you got the cheese. Feel free to use any kind of cheese. I mean, you could have went with pepper jack, you could have went with um, cheddar, double cheddar, Monterey Jack. I mean, you really can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong with any kind of cheese with um, stuffed bell pepper. So now I'm just gonna stuff these bad boys, get them nice and fat. We want some fatty waddies, you know? We want some fatty waddies. So I'm just gonna be stuffing these things. I'm stuffing them. Now, of course, after you finish stuffing your peppers with your um, meat filling, now you just want to douse it with mad cheese. Of course, you got to top it with cheese. What is a stuffed bell pepper without mad cheese on the top? So, you just want to um, sprinkle that cheese on your peppers, as much cheese as you like. The more cheese, the better, <laughs> I always say. And my oven is already preheated to 350 because 350 is just like that main temperature. Like everything come out better on 350. Everything come out perfect on 350. So here you go. 350, look at that cheese. The cheese then melted up all nice and ooey gooey wooey. They still juicy. They did not dry out. It's a nice bite on those green peppers. Just, just bomb. Just, they just came out so bomb. And that Jamaican jerk season just gave it just like, uh, I don't know. It just took it up like a whole nother notch. As always, like I always say, you guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning into my video. And I hope everyone has a blessed night.